Hi everyone, on with you, and I just wanted to cut an extra little video short this month, so I um, am opening this up from a friend of mine who I was having a conversation with, and uh, we were talking about how oftentimes people who are compassionate and empathic can easily be taken advantage of in the sense that people will use them as a sort of dumping ground for whatever they're not happy with and how they become this person who ends up listening to everybody's issues. <laughs> and not that they mind doing that, but where the challenge comes is when people rehash the same issues over and over and over again and they're not doing anything with the support or the advice that they're getting. And so it's, it's very, very easy to end up in these positions oftentimes as spiritual people, compassionate people, um, people who are just really caring and em empathic. Em you know, they can feel what other people are feeling. And they want to be there for people. They want to share with them. They want to experience with them. So what happens, though, is that, you know, many times these people have tons to be grateful for. And instead of focusing on all these amazing things that are going right in their life, they end up focusing on these negatives, these few negatives, and yet they never take the steps to actually change themselves along the way. So uh, the question came up as far as, what do I do with this? How do I deal with this? <laughs> because I really care about this person and I really want things to be good for them, but I can't keep going through this over and over again. And what this raises is a really great and important point for us to be aware of, no matter who we are in our life, you know, no matter where our standing is, if you are that listener person. And that is coming back to things I've talked about in the past, which is respect and owning your own space and being honored. And I don't mean that from an ego standpoint or from that human aspect of I've got to have recognition or anything like that. What I mean by that is that you have to take charge of your space. You need to take charge of how you are going to be treated by other people. And then you have to stand strong to that and honor that. And when you do, and when you honor this piece of this is what's going to happen in my space and you hold strong to it, that's when you will start to see people change. And people will come back to me and they'll say, well, yeah, but I don't really, you know, what if this person takes off? What if they don't change? And I say, so what if they don't? Because anybody who is operating from integrity, anybody who is truly wanting to change, and they will change. But you've got to hold that space. You've got to, when I say hold that space, you've got to hold that space for yourself to stand true to how you're going to be treated. And what happens is when we don't do this, we are allowing and supporting them in these sort of abusive patterns. We're allowing and supporting them to remain in their dysfunctional areas, in the, in the areas that are self-defeating for them. And we think, well, isn't it helping them by listening to them? Not necessarily. And the reality of it is, is anything that is really true, anything that is really honest, is not going to run away. Anything that you really need, if that connection isn't willing to honor what you need for yourself, then they're not a true connection. And you're going to be better to go ahead and let them go. So what we want to do is when the space comes around, is we want to say, how am I going to be treated? Okay, I'll be there. I'll listen to somebody. But then you've got to follow that up with three positives or three aspects of gratitude. And let me know what you're really grateful for. You see, it, it can be a very, very powerful piece. And when you honor this, and, and when you're in that conversation with them, come back and say, okay, great, so what's going right now? Now let's share this. Or, okay, great, now I wanna talk about what do you see as a possibility? Or what can you 
create for yourself from here? What actions are you willing to commit to to make this change? And to not stay in that negative space, to simply honor yourself and say, you know what, I've only got time for five or 10 minutes of negativity and then, <laughs> and then it's gotta be 20 minutes of positive energy. Because if you allow yourself to be bombarded by other people's negative energy, no matter how much you want to help them and be there for them, then you're going to end up finding your life is also taking a turn in that direction. And that is because you're spending so much time focusing on that negative energy. You're, you're working out of alignment with your own natural self. So I really encourage you to take this little piece and to think about, hey, what am I allowing in my interactions? And what do I want my interactions to be like? Because I think we can all admit when somebody is sincerely, truly needing help and they really need a place to listen, we're more than happy to do that. But if it's all the time consistent and it's the same issue over and over again, that's not okay. That's not a space that's gonna honor you or honor them. So I wanna encourage you to think about what will bring honor, what, and when we say honor, and we look at honor from the aspect of codes, it's about being responsible, being accountable. What allows the divine essence from within sh to shine? And it's not gonna be wallowing in all that negativity. So I hope this helps you out a little bit, and anytime you guys have something that you're wondering about, and you're thinking, how do I deal with this situation? go ahead and message me because I would love to not only help you, but to help other people in that process. And I'm really hoping along the way that we can keep taking the code energy work and bringing this out. And, and I'm looking forward to bringing more of it out um, in, the, in the years to come in different ways as possible study groups and things like that, that will get people more active so that they can address these issues and other things that are happening in their life. Take care, everybody.